Hey, welcome to Honest Reviews. In this video, we are going to be looking at the Instax Mini 11 Instant Film Camera. I'm gonna be showing you how to set it up, how to shoot with it, how to load the film, and some tips on getting great images out of this really fun camera. All right, so for starters, this camera is from Fujifilm. It is the latest in their Instax Mini series. This is sort of like the entry level. There are a lot more cameras in the Instax series um, that shoot different types of film, different sizes, have more features. This is sort of your entry level one, but it still is really fun to shoot with. One really important thing to know is that this is not going to take any digital images. You are only getting film, uh, the instant film that you have to buy separately. So that's just a really important tip. One thing I'll let you know right now is that there is a ton of information in the description below this video, uh, links to get these things, links to other videos about the same camera and other ones. So make sure you check out that description for a ton of great information and uh, an easy way to go get one of these for yourself. So this camera is currently retailing for $69 US on Amazon. There are five different colors. All the colors have the same features. They're all the same price right now. Sometimes the prices fluctuate a bit, but this is a pretty new camera. So we're still looking at the same price for all the colors. We've got this pink one. There is a blue, a purple, a white, and a charcoal gray. They're all kind of more like muted tones with this series, which is really nice. I think they're quite pretty. Uh, you can take a look. I always like to know which one people like best. I thought this pink one was quite nice, uh, but they were all pretty cool this time around. In terms of what's included in the box, there's not a ton. You get the camera, obviously. You get this little wrist strap, which I will show you how to put on real, quickly right away. This is new. They've never done this before. You get these shutter accessories. So there's like this squishy little glow in the dark button and this little diamond one. And then there's these little sticky pads and they're supposed to go on the shutter right here. And from what I've heard, they fall off immediately. Um, they're supposed to be so that you can like jazz it up a little bit. That's not really my kind of jam and if they fall off like what's the point um I'll try it out for you we'll see what happens but I would not buy this camera with that being your reason to buy it you know just as a heads up now let's talk about all the features of the camera and get it set up and take a photo first off batteries ah. this camera actually comes with batteries which is lovely I love when things come with batteries so we have the battery thing right here, the battery door. It's got a little battery on it. Just pop that off, get your batteries in there, double A batteries. And like I said, it comes with them. So you're set there. Follow the little diagram. And there we go. To turn the camera on, it's this nice little plastic button on the bottom and you just push it and it pops out. And the light comes on to let you know that it's on. This is the flashlight. Um, like flash charge light that will let you know that the flash is ready to shoot. With this camera, you can't choose whether or not the flash goes off. The camera decides the exposure depending on the situation you're in. So, you know, it's just gonna go or it's not gonna go. But if you're shooting somewhere dark, you'll wanna make sure that that light is on to let you know that it's ready to shoot. I'm gonna turn it off and I'll show you how. Just push that back down and now it's off. I'm gonna put on the wrist strap here for you so you can see how you do that. There it is. And you can either put it on this side or this side. I'm gonna put it over here. So you just slip the thin end through here and it comes out the other side. Pull it all the way out. Get that through. and then pull. That's it, and now you're ready. And this doesn't move or anything, it's just like this, but it will give you a little bit extra security when you're holding the camera. So that's always a good option to put on. Now let's try these weird little things. And I'll use the little sticker. So the sticky part is underneath. There, that's what it looks like. That's what you're looking for. So we're gonna try that. That on there. Okay. 
And then which one should we do? Probably this guy. It comes with this whole instruction sheet just to put this guy on. Push that on, hold it down for a second. All right, there we go. Now we're looking good. There it comes with two in case you want to switch it up. All right, now we're ready. Now we are ready. Let's put in the film. All right, when you're buying this film, make sure you are getting the Instax mini film. There's also Instax square and Instax wide. Neither of those will work, only Instax mini. Um, you can buy this film in so many different patterns and colors. You can buy it black and white. You can get it where the border is black. There's so much variety. It's really fun. Um, this is just the very plain stuff, the very classic, uh, but all of it is fun. So a few things about this film. Don't leave it in a super hot car. Don't leave it out in the freezing cold. You're gonna wanna keep it at room temperature. All right, when you open it up, you've got this little package. Be careful not to like squish this or crush it. This is delicate film. Um, so you just open it like this. But also don't panic about it. Like I've tested this before. It doesn't actually cause too much harm um, if you do anything, but it does tell you not to like squish it. So you wanna hold this from the sides. And then what you're looking for is this little yellow mark, just right there. And that's gonna help you line it up. So you open the camera here like this, and you can see there's a little yellow mark on the top and you are just lining up the marks like that. You just kind of get it in there until it just fits in and you close this door. And this is the film confirmation window which basically you can just see that it's yellow in there when you have the film in. Um, so if you ever pick up your camera and you're like, is there film in here? You look and you see that little yellow mark and you know that you do have film in there. And then down here, this is gonna tell you how many shots you have on that roll um, or pack. So now we're gonna open it up. And here's the number one step is that in that film pack, the first shot is actually the dark slide. That's the thing that is protecting the film from the light. And so when you take your first shot, it's not actually a picture, it's just going to eject that dark slide. Um, so don't get it all set up like you're gonna take the best picture in the world because it will just be a piece of black cardboard. So I'll show you that. We just press the shutter button. and that's the dark slide right there. Once that's gone, now you're ready to shoot. And now if you look down here, this says 10, and that means you have 10 shots available to use, and this will go down every time you take a shot. Okay, one other really important thing is do not open this door now that you have the film in there because that definitely will ruin the film. Um, it ruins at least one, sometimes two of the pieces, and this stuff isn't cheap. Uh, so make sure this stays closed until you are fully done taking all of those shots. Don't take the film out and put a different one in. Use that whole pack and then put in a different one. Okay, now I wanna give you a few shooting tips. Um, just kind of talk about how this camera works and how you wanna take different shots and then I will actually walk you through taking a shot. Now for starters, with this new Mini 11, there is an automatic exposure. So in the past, other mini cameras, you would actually turn a dial and set the exposure yourself. Uh, now it does it all for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so basically, it's really, really just point and shoot at this point, unless you are taking a selfie or a macro shot. So a macro shot is when you're taking a picture of something very close up, um, or a selfie where you're like shooting in that close distance. So the distance that the, that is basically around is 30 to 50 centimeters. And so if you're shooting something within that range, something close like that, or you're shooting a selfie, you're gonna wanna use the selfie mode. And in order to get the selfie mode, it's very easy. In the past, you had to have like a little attachment, but now it's built in. You just take the lens, you can see it says, Selfie mode here, that doesn't mean selfie mode is on. You have to pull the lens up and then you can see that little right there. 
selfie on. That's how you know selfie mode is on. And now the camera is ready to shoot either a selfie or one of those close up shots. Again, that's 30 to 50 centimeters away. And so for a selfie, very easy. You just hold it out, you know, probably arm's length. And this little mirror right here is going to help you um, compose your shot. So you're gonna look at this mirror and that will help you compose your selfie. And then you just press the button as usual. If you are taking a macro shot, what you're going to do is when you look through the viewfinder, there's a little circle in the center. With a macro shot, you're not actually gonna get the full view. You're going to get kind of just the bottom left area from the circle downward um, because it's closer. And that's a little bit hard to visualize, but just imagine that that circle is kind of like the top right of your image. And so you're kind of composing just in that bottom left area. Once you start shooting that way, you'll get used to it. You'll kind of understand what that means. Um, but just remember that this is not a digital camera. What you see in this viewfinder is not what you're gonna get. Uh, so you kind of, that's part of the charm of it. It's always a bit of a surprise, but just be aware of that little bit of a composition shift that you have to make when you're using the macro mode or the selfie mode if you're shooting a person close up. All right, let's go through the process of taking a photo. So we're gonna turn it on down here. We're gonna wait till our flash indicator light is ready. Now with these cameras, the film is oriented vertically because it has that little strip extra space at the bottom that you can write on. Um, but you can, of course, take a picture horizontally if you want, and then the strip will just be on the side. It's totally up to you. There's no rule against it. Uh, so you choose which way you're gonna hold the camera. I'm gonna do a vertical. And then you get your thumb resting here so that you have it nice and still. With these cameras, you always wanna stay as still as possible, especially if you're shooting indoors. If you're indoors, the shutter speed is gonna be slower in order to get more light, which means that if you're shaking, your, your shot could come out blurry. So be nice and still, put it up to your eye, and then take a shot. Then the film is gonna come out the top Grab it from just this area. Don't touch the film itself and don't shake it. You don't have to shake it. That's a myth. Just let it develop. It's gonna take about 90 seconds um, and you can watch if you want or you can put it down or you like make it a surprise. Uh, but yeah, about 90 seconds, sometimes slower if it's cold out and then your shot will be ready. I'll also show you taking a selfie while we wait for that one to Develop, so we're gonna do selfie mode on. So I'm holding it up a little bit and I'm looking in the little mirror on the front of the lens, but then look in the lens when you take the shot. That's the trick. All right, there we go. Grab just from the edge and let it develop. So this one is almost done here. You can see a really messy office. So you saw with both of those that the flash went off. You don't get to decide, you can't turn it off. That's the thing with this camera. There are other Instax cameras where you can actually do that if you're looking for more control, but this is the basic level one. So it's just gonna do whatever it wants and you will get whatever shot it gives you. Now, obviously one of the fun things with this Instax film is that you can label the bottom. I will recommend the Sharpie Fine tips are the best for that. Um, you can also buy lots of like, really nice little albums that you can put these into, put them up on the wall, tons of fun stuff you can do with this. Uh, so, you know, the more you get into it, I think the more you'll find that it's actually really, really fun and really satisfying to just have an image that you can hold right away. That's one of my favorite things about this Instax film. So you can see here, this one is still developing. It's still a little bit hazy, uh, where this one is a lot more clear. So that's kind of, you know, why you have to wait the full time for it to actually develop. But, you know, in terms of exposure, these both did a pretty decent job. In general, you'll probably find that you like the photos that are done in natural light. Um, I mean, flash is a look, but I personally prefer the natural light shots. 
Uh, so you'll wanna be doing that as much as you can, get a lot of light so that that flash doesn't go off and then you get some really nice um, contrast in your light, all that fun stuff. There's a lot that you can do in terms of where you choose to shoot uh, since you can't control a lot with the camera itself. But you can see this is just about ready. It did a good job. You can see the background um, and my face are pretty well exposed. So it looks like the new exposure modes are pretty good here. I'm looking forward to testing it more. I'll also say that with this camera, you can buy cases and different straps as well um, in order to protect it or just like give it a little of your own personal style. Uh, tons of fun stuff with these. But that is the basic shooting guide to using it. It's pretty simple, but there's a few little tips that you wanna make sure you do uh, to get the most out of it and to not waste any money on that film. So let me know in the comments if you think you might pick one of these up for yourself or if you have one and what your tips are. Make sure to subscribe. We're gonna be doing more on the uh, instant film camera lines and that's always very exciting. And give me a heart if you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.